everybody. My name is Miss Posey. I'm a multi-age teacher here at Weston Elementary, and today I'm going to read All of My Love, one of my most favorite Valentine's Day books. Let's get started. All of My Love, written by Vivian Walsh. All of My Love. All of My Love. One afternoon, Olive was baking her favorite treat, dog biscuits. Baking made Olive's kitchen feel warm and smell sweet. When the biscuits were done, Olive lay down in a sunny spot to take a nap. Now I feel warm and sweet too, thought Olive. She was nearly asleep when she thought she heard someone calling her name. She pricked up her ears and listened. Someone was singing, my love to you, a woo, Olive sang along. It was something dogs have to do. It was her friend, Dexter, the winged dog. A dog with wings that sings, thought Olive. I like that. He was singing really loud now. All of my love, all of my love. Olive sang too. She tipped back her head and when Dexter sang the last words to you, she howled. A the song was interrupted by a thump. Olive jumped up. The fur on the back of her jumped up too. On Olive's doorstep, was the biggest heart she had ever seen. You dropped all of your love, Olive called out, but it was too late. Dexter had already flown away. I better return it, thought Olive. She filled a sack with fresh biscuits. When you're going on an adventure, it's good to pack a snack. Olive hadn't gone far when she heard these four words. Stop, no, don't go, Olive stopped. Stand clear of the rut, instructed a squirrel. Just then, down the rut rolled a nut. The squirrel held it up to show Olive. Now I can say hello. Hello, my name is Handler. I have more nuts than any other squirrel on the hill. They fall off the tree, roll into my rut, and that's a one-way trip to where I want them to be. I don't have to go gather nuts. Nuts come to me, and I'm so pleased to meet you. That squirrel could talk really fast. What do you do with so many nuts, asked Olive. I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew. Sometimes it takes all day to count them, said Handler. Want to help? I'd love to stay and count with you, said Olive, but I have to return this heart. Oh, let me count that one for you. One. You have one heart, said Handler, looking very pleased with himself. He picked up a bunch of nuts and hugged them. This is Dexter's heart, said Olive. He lost it. Oh, said Handler, letting a few nuts fall from his grip. You better return that. USA, good luck and goodbye. Olive pushed the heart. Olive pulled the heart. This was hard work. Olive was tired. She decided it was time to reward herself with a treat. As she chewed on her biscuit, she heard a voice say, Eight, nine, and ten. It was Handler. Olive had hardly moved. Dexter's heart was really big. Handler, do you know a horse or a mule who lives nearby? Some kind of an animal that can carry something big, said Olive. An elephant would be good. Handler didn't feel like counting nuts anymore. He felt like helping Olive. We could take my car, said Handler. Which way, asked Handler. Ruff, said Olive, sniffing the air. Olive pointed the way. It's something dogs can do. Olive liked to ride in cars. She loved to sit by the window. They drove up the hill. Olive could see Dexter's house. It's just on the other side of the cliff, Handler said. Cliff, Olive yelped. Stop, no, Handler, don't go. Handler hit the brakes. The car jerked to a stop. The heart, not knowing any better, kept going. It shot forward toward the cliff and then it froze in midair. It was caught in some kind of net. What is that in my way? asked the spider. It's Dexter's heart, said Olive. He lost it. Oh, said the spider. You better return that. We're trying to, said Handler. Can we drive there? Impossible. No car can make it across the steep ravine. Even Dexter can't drive to his house. He flies. I wonder if I can help. My name is Weaver. Weaver began to wind silk thread around some branches. Weaving helps me think, she explained. She made a hammock. 
swinging in a hammock helps me think too. Olive thought for a while, and then she said, a treat helps me think. She opened her sack of biscuits. Handler had brought some treats too. Would anyone like a nut chew? Asked the squirrel. Oh, nut chew, said the spider sneezing. I'm allergic to nut chews. Would either of you like a fly wing? Oddly enough, both Olive and Handler were allergic to fly wings. Fly wings, said the weaver. That's it, flying. She turned her hammock over and stretched it back. A slingshot can cabolt you over the ravine. You can fly to Dexter's house. Only a very brave dog could do that, said Handler. Olive looked at the heart and thought about her friend Dexter, the dog with wings that sings. Olive was a brave dog. One, two, off she flew! Dexter opened his door and saw a huge heart lying there. I brought your heart back, said Olive. My heart, asked Dexter. You lost it. You were singing, all of my love, said Olive. I didn't lose my heart, Olive. I gave it to you, said Dexter. Didn't you get my note? Note? Nope. Olive was confused. She was staring at a piece of paper stuck on Dexter's wing. It was the note. Dexter sang the words that he had written there. For Olive, my love, all of my love, yours, Dexter. The heart was a gift for me, asked Olive. For you, sang a voice. It was Handler. We tagged along, said Weaver. We're still attached. She held up a strand that connected them to the heart. Dexter helped Olive open the heart. There were bonbons inside. What a sweet mistake, said Handler. The new friends had a picnic of bonbons, biscuits, nut chews, and fly wings. They were surprised they had so much to share with one another. They felt happy on top of the hill. They felt like they were on top of the world. The end. Thank you for enjoying one of my favorite Valentine's Day books. See you soon.